so so I don't know what else to say at this point um this video is uh this video is about the six contracts and then there was the small seventh I don't even know what the fucking seventh contract I just know who I signed the contract with that's about it I really have no idea what the fuck, because that was right around the same time as fucking certain things, so we'll just see if that contract ever fucking pops up in my fucking face against me. That's all I gotta say. As far as, <clears throat> as far as the first contract, which was the license to kill contract, which I signed twice due to the fact that, uh... By the time the second, the, by the time the next contract like that would roll around, that's how many years separated. That's how many years separated this thing. They knew that they wanted me. They knew that they freaking. They knew what they were. They were dealing with. They knew every single thing about it, and they were like, and not to mention that so many times people were already fucking doing the most fucked up shit. Not only just trying to kill me, but they were trying to set me up. And we're talking a little, little boy. Little boy. Okay? So that contract, I eventually signed a second time. And... In between that contract, there is the FBI, CIA, DOJ contracts. Not knowing which contract was which wasn't allowed to know, but I was allowed to be told, these are with these. These contracts are with these. You got to figure out which one is which. That was when I was 12. Signed them with my blood. Now, Shortly after that was the whole fucking insane situation with the whole freaking locking down of the neighborhood that I lived in. The Indian burial ground, which turned out to be a fucking serial killer's burial ground, which turned out to be a fucking insane, insane problem. Now... I'm leaving out all the stuff that took place, all right? I'm leaving out all the stuff that took place before those contracts. Well, before those three contracts. The only thing I'm going to mention is how Damian Perez's handgun went missing, not once, but twice or fucking God knows how many fucking times and I was accused because that's important if I'm leaving anything else that's important out I'll freaking probably remember it as I'm going into the next thing the next thing is the Church of Scientology contract now that contract was because they knew that there was a problem Inside the church. They knew... I'm sorry, I gotta sit down. This is crazy. They knew... They knew that there was a problem inside the church. With uh, people trying to infiltrate the church. Now, it's funny because around about that same time... Was... No, that wasn't it yet. So that was my confirmation, all right? Uh, my confirmation with the church of regular church, right? Catholic church. The reason I was, uh, I just mentioned that is because of the, because um, I remember a little bit after that, a little bit after that, that's when my, 
in other words, they made their confirmation too. And they were younger than me. So that was a few years. That was probably around the time that I got a car. Just before I got a car, whatever. Now... You know what, it, 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 it's important for other reasons, see there's, there's so much shit going through my head just thinking about my, my freaking, it's because of what certain people were saying to me at another church, that got me saying to myself like, what what is it that I'm really dealing with here, because some of these things, like, I just freaking, I didn't even fucking, I didn't, even if, I, wow, that that is that is complicated in itself to fucking just explain like like I even though I knew about it I didn't know what the fuck it was like what people used as other terminology for it wow man anyway the point being is that the main points of what I'm trying to stick to here is the church of scientology contract now, the Church of Scientology contract was because there was people infiltrating the church. They were infiltrating the church, trying to take over the church so that they could control the church. Somewhat, supposedly, for the wrong reasons, okay? Uh, also, they were trying to get their hands on things that the church had as artifacts, uh, some of the belief system was interwoven into those artifacts that not a lot of people got to see. People may have known about them, but not a lot of people got to see. Now, that was also a contract where basically it's like it was it was to be basically excommunicated on purpose the logic behind this was if they excommunicated me on purpose they who were giving any type of orders to anybody would find out whether or whether not people were listening to the orders given from higher ups in the church now this this would make it sound pretty fucking bad that uh some of those rumors are very true about the church and what they do to people who talk bad about the church. Excuse me. Uh you can you can reference the Catholic or Christian um Bibles uh when it comes to excommunication of a church uh, due to, uh, like, blasphemy, due to this or that, or just basically, you know, it's like, I, I don't know exactly if, if blasphemy covers into the realm of talking bad about the church. Uh, blasphemy is, is more centered in my head as, you know, like, you're either saying that you're this or you're saying that you're that or but but it still it still should cover the understanding that if people are talking bad about the church right <coughs> the thing is okay <coughs> the thing is i met l ron hubbard okay uh eh eh all over I have supposedly the same birthmarks as L. Ron Hubbard. Now, the thing about this is that this is one of the reasons that the church uh, had had good ideas in their head. And yet they knew that I wasn't ready. L. Ron Hubbard knew I was not ready to advance at all anybody's way of thinking inside the church plus they weren't exactly ready for the 
somewhat truth. Now, now, as far as as far as that 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 story that everybody considers to be crazy goes, that story is somewhat very very real. Okay, uh, microchips, this that, all of it. You know, it's like it's it is it is not that is not a joke. That is happening right now in today's world. Okay. Um. During during the time period of around about twelve years old, see, I don't know exactly when I signed. I don't know if I signed that contract before or after the FBI, CIA, DOJ contracts. Now, the interesting part is I had already signed the the first contract. Okay, the first contract was a license to kill. The thing about the license to kill. Was it wasn't a license to kill. Unless I had to, of course. Right? Because you don't see James Bond just walking around blowing everybody's brains out. Even though I would like to. You know? Who may deserve it. You know what I'm saying? It's like... It's like... The license to kill was a license to kill. But it wasn't a license to kill. Now... When I signed that contract, although I signed that contract first, that was to secure the contract when I was old enough to re-sign the contract, which wasn't exactly not allowed and not not allowed, you know, not not allowed. And then what, what did I say? Allowed or not allowed? Whatever. Because the one who wanted the contract wanted the contract for very very bad purposes which was basically to kill everybody that's about it yeah now there was other people that found out about that contract and because they never actually seen the contract themselves well you know they wanted the contract for pretty bad fucking reasons too And they were very, very jealous that a very little boy signed that contract. Now, and so it begins, Mortal Kombat, you know? Now, you know, it's like contracts with the FBI, CIA, and the DOJ all had different parameters to the contracts. One contract wasn't to kill. And I had to figure out which one of those contracts... Like, I knew which contract, but I didn't know which agency that contract was for. The second contract was a little bit more hands-on after the fact. That could lead to. And then there was the third contract, which was pretty fucking insane. Now, that, that was kind of... A little bit more than what I could believe. All right. Even if I said, "Yeah, I believe this. I understand this. I totally understand this." Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm gonna have to hunt down and evaluate. I'm I'm gonna have to hunt down, evaluate, and then make a fucking decision whether this thing gets to live or not live. Okay. With no money in my pocket. Bullshit. Bullshit. But that doesn't. That doesn't. That's not that's not the first thing that was in my head then. They told me certain things here and there, right? There were certain parameters to guard my back. At the same time, around about the same time, I'm signing the contract around about the same time with the Church of Scientology along with the FBI, CIA, DOJ, just not at the same time, around about the same time. That contract was, yet again, another contract, just like the first one, which I also signed right around that same time period, uh, again. Like the first contract, signed around the same time I signed around about, maybe a year apart, maybe not, maybe a couple months, 
with the Church of Scientology to figure out the problem that was definitely being made aware of inside the Church of Scientology. Hey, Tom, you listening, bruh? No. It, it's... Oh, things that freaking... Woof. So... <clears throat> The, um, that Church of Scientology contract was to figure out when orders were given, would people follow through? And would people follow through when the orders to stop were given? And were the parameters of what was being uh, done inside the orders, were they with inside the parameters of the orders? So very shortly after that, they started to notice that there was uh, things happening that and they also wanted to be sure that it was either their people or other people, you know, like outside influences, or was it their people that were fucking up, right? That's that's it. It was it was a pretty heavy thing that that you know uh, a basic like what twelve thirteen year old kid fucking was 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 taking on uh, eleven maybe maybe I signed it before the other contracts I don't know. I just know that freaking that within the time period it was to be excommunicated. So there was a time period of not being excommunicated after signing the contract. To find out whether whether people would would or would not back off or not back off when appropriate, right? Now, uh, very shortly after signing that contract and being somewhat excommunicated, uh, things got very, very intense. The things that got intense were the whole, it was, it was the whole, um, you know, things are happening to me and people are not backing off. Now, that brings up, interestingly enough, the very first time I get arrested, right? Which is a block away from my house. My friend Mike Paniche, from the supposedly intertwined with, an, with his church, because the church, the, the, the Jesus is Lord church, was the one that was being brought up. But they were actually a part of a different church over in mm, fucking Medford or fucking, uh, not Medford, um, uh, fucking, fuck, I don't even know. It was somewhere down fucking, oh man. You know, I forgot that fucking, well, I forgot that fucking road's name. Supposedly... And the town, I freaking, I, I, what the fuck is that? That's, um, like, like, going down into Farmingville or fucking, uh, uh, what the fuck is the other fucking place? You know what, let's just say fuck this bullshit, okay? The bottom line is that they come looking for him, I'm a block away from my house, and a grown fucking 26-year-old man starts to fucking swing on fucking people and push them around that I just became friends with. These guys used to beat me up all the time, and I just became friends with them. Where they didn't beat me up. And now all of a sudden, this fucking dude comes around, right? Because Mike wanted to bring fucking shrooms. Oh, but Mike's so holy and precious. You know, it's like bullshit. Now, around about, around about that same time, was also the taking somewhat out of and the log situation 
This this is why this is why that also involved and then and then there was the other thing. That's what that's why it's like there's there's a lot of heavy shit right there. So I am not realizing exactly how insane all this is. Because certain people that were supposed to be at least trying to fucking help me were 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 doing the the most literalist baseline fucking explaining shit ex, ex, explaining type shit to me that that I could I had the fucking it was everything was a game everything was a fucking game oh let's see if he could figure out this even though it takes most people fucking 7 years to figure out or 12 years to figure out or a lifetime you know it's like fucking you know what man it's like it's like so all this shit is going down and I don't even know what to fucking believe. Because any time that the police would come talk to me about anything, it was like, first off, there's just so much to that too. So now so now I'm I'm supposed to try to figure some of this out, but at the same time there's other people trying to figure this out. So within all that time frame, they found out there are definitely things that are wrong with the Church of Scientology. And then they started to understand that there were people that were trying to infiltrate the Church of Scientology money-wise. Because e although people that were on the poor scale, they were somehow managing to come up with the money to pay for the lessons that the church was given to rise into the church. But the thing with church lessons is that you do not have to go further. Because if the lesson doesn't sink in, or you do not understand the lesson, or you do not understand what you're supposed to learn from the lesson, and this is very very complicated there because of secrets inside of all churches all churches have spiritual secrets and this goes down to magic or what is here in this world magic which Jesus is not supposed to be supporting which I'm totally not actually supporting in the way that you think I might be supporting if you just randomly run across this video. Just saying. So, because magic is dangerous. And, um, it could be fun too, but it's dangerous. And uh, there's things that, you know, um, the church finds out. And uh, that's, that's the whole thing. It's like when they find out that, you know, certain people are trying to buy their way into the church. And they're not ready for the rest of the lessons or they're they're not structured like they're, they're, there's reasons why certain people were not being elevated some of those reasons were because it's not about the money it's not about how many times you take the lesson it's not even about sometimes if you pass the lesson it matters how structured your life is okay this is billion dollar boy shit son i want my money I want to be, I want my, I want my fucking awesome life. I want my fucking money. And personally, after that, I back the fuck away. You see, after that, it's like, the reason I bring up that, um, it starts to get really crazily intense. Uh... A lot more shit starts to go down. Now, there are certain people that very, very, um, 
I would say high priests or priestesses knew, uh, or even going further than that, like just spiritual beings knew there were certain people that were supposed to be my priests and my priestesses inside of the church. The Catholic Church is very, very male-orientated, and that is not exactly, it, it's like, 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 I don't even want to go into this or that, it's, it's very, that's why it's like, it's like, and then people think and say all these things about the Church of Scientology, and I'm, I don't know how far I want to stick up for them at this point. I don't, because I don't know how bad the problem... All I know is that that problem, that problem... And people have tried to mimic what, what I'm saying right now. I know because this is what was told to me by these fucking people. That may not want to fucking expose themselves anymore. And that's the whole point either. I'm not trying to get them fucking exposed. Wow, man. This, this is... So, back to what I was saying is, give me a second. They started finding out that uh, there was a lot of people pulling a lot of shit. Alright? Which then eventually leads up to my second excommunication. Now, the second excommunication was an excommunication. But, it was also to see how far things would go yet again. There were people inside the church that were trying to definitely freaking kill me. Uh, due to the markings on my hands. They didn't like Jesus. Yet, L. Ron Hubbard wanted me to lead that church because of those markings on my hands. You know, it's like he knew things just like other people knew things and know things. And yet he also knew that I wasn't ready and he also knew that people were not exactly ready for the truth about the Church of Scientology. Which I do, I do have, because I was told it right from L. Ron Hubbard. He stay, he's afraid, he was afraid of his own church at the end. He was afraid of his own church. I know why the man did what he did. I know that although he was a very, very, I don't know how to, I don't know how to explain it. He, he was a very intellectual man, very, very science driven, obviously man. Uh, he was a very, uh, he didn't believe so much in God. So he didn't exactly know what to think of me, but I know that he's seen what he liked in me. Because, you know, it's like, it's like in the regular Bible, in the Catholic Bible, Jesus doesn't even come into the picture until he's so many years old. This is a little boy that everybody is identifying immediately as the re- occurrence of Jesus Christ. I can't say that I have pretty much any memories of things that, but I don't think about that a lot either. So I don't know if there's anything that I, I mean, I have had some very spiritual dreams and some very, very interesting things from the past and seeing things. And I think those were more important at that point than anything to do with the 
And maybe I have. I just don't, I don't know why they're blocked. I don't know. The, the, the point being is that all of this in between signing the first excommunication contract, which wasn't an excommunication, it was the first contract which was excommunication is going to be my mission for the church. And then there was the second excommunication, which I had already completed, and yet that was also around about the same time that I got the police-issued Suffolk County Glock 9. Because before signing that, and before all that went down, and before me walking into the Twin Towers yet again, a second time, With the police-issued Suffolk County Glock 9 tucked in my waist. Trust me. With the serial numbers fucking scratched off. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Which was probably Damian Perez's handgun because that's what they were probably planning to do anyway. And that was the reason I mentioned that. Was because that was more than likely... Already underway, right about the same, that would have probably been around the same fucking time that I signed the fucking first contract, the license to kill contract, which was not a license to kill. <laughs> it was a contract to get the ever living fucking piss and shit knocked out of me. That's that's what that contract was. And, you know, that's why it's like, which which also, see, that's, that's why I'm saying it's like, and yet people wanted that contract because it was a license to kill and do whatever they wanted, they thought. You know, it's like, That's why that second contract, that that other contract with the Church of Scientology is also important. And the three other contracts with the FBI, CIA, and the DOJ were important. Because it was to be able, after everything is said and done, who was doing what and why. So, the second contract I signed... And the reason uh, with the Church of Scientology, the ex this this was the excommunication contract. Now I already 